Hey guys, so today I want to show you guys how to find out if a truck's EGR cooler is leaking. I had a customer call me yesterday and say he has a check engine light on. Um, when I came here, uh, pretty much his uh, code 1896, this is a ISX CM871 2010. Um, typical problem, uh, EGR valve uh, out of calibration, code 1896, pretty much repair or replace the EGR valve. And uh, sometimes those things go out by themselves, but sometimes uh, the EGR cooler goes bad and takes them out. So in this case, he told me he was adding about almost half a gallon to a gallon, one to two days. So that was something I never heard of. Usually it's like half a gallon to a gallon every week or two. So today I want to show you how to properly check the EGR cooler leaking. First thing I did, I pulled off this intake manifold sensor. That's how I usually start my first check and see you can see that it's red 400,000 miles and it's still the original sensor I pulled that off and that was wet it's usually in soot but I've never seen one wet so that means it was uh, severely leaking I'm going to try to do my best here to show you as much as possible. So pretty much what I usually do is I take these. First I take these bolts out. And if you see there's a pile of wetness right there. From uh, yesterday, me taking it out. And when I took it off yesterday, I did this and it's leaking out. And just like you see today, it's leaking out. I've never seen one this bad. Usually, usually you see it just be wet, kind of moist in there, but this is, this one's just leaking straight into the exhaust. So, um, I already pulled the filter off, DPF filter off. I'm uh, recommending him replace the intake manifold exhaust gas pressure sensor. I just want to show you guys how to properly check uh, a leaking EGR cooler. So, pretty much. This is how it cools off the exhaust gases, and when the EGR cooler goes bad, the coolant starts going to the exhaust gas, and this is one way to check the EGR cooler going bad is by taking off this outlet pipe, and it being wet is an indication of that your EGR cooler is bad, and then it's time to replace, and usually, depends on how, how long it's been, um, you might need to take the DPF filter off, and when I pulled this one off, it was, it had, um, uh, red red coloring in the DPF meaning that coolant got in there already but it looks like it didn't damage the filter yet but it sure did plug it up so this is just one of my videos where I'm gonna show you how to properly check an EGR cooler for leaking if you have any other questions let me know see you next time